Hey, what is up guys? This is Dexter here and welcome to my Mario Golf Super Rush first impressions video. And uh, yeah, so I mean, that's just about what we're going to do today. I'm going to go over my first impressions of Mario Golf Super Rush, what I thought of it so far uh, after about, I want to say like three, four hours of playtime, something like that. Um, just wanted to make a quick video about it. I don't think I'm going to do like a full script video on it, so I figured this would be the perfect format to do it. So first off, I want to say I'm overall pretty impressed with the game. By the way, if I'm looking over here, I'm looking at my iPad at the notes that I wrote down. So um, yeah, no, overall I'm very impressed with the game. It's like there's so much here actually, way more than I expected there would be. It's fun. There, there's, there's just a lot to do and just, you know, like... I think I think from what I can gather so far, I do think it's a, it's a pretty worthy purchase. So let's get like a little bit more into the into the nitty gritty of it. So there are a few modes in the game. So you have like normal golf, you have speed golf, and then you have battle golf. And normal golf, from my perspective, is kind of just whatever. Like there's nothing special going on. It's just golf. And, you know, there's probably that's probably a draw for a lot of people, but honestly, if I wanted to play normal golf, I would probably just play Wii Sports Golf, because that just has a lot more appeal to me and a lot more charm than this game's normal version of golf does. So, not a big fan of it, personally. But, uh, Speed Golf, on the other hand, Speed Golf is where it's at. That mode is incredibly fun. Um, you know, that's the that's the mode that they showed a lot in the trailers where you like you shoot your or you like Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how, how you even call it like in golf you shoot your ball I don't I really don't know but Either way you sway you swing your golf club at the ball and then you go run after it And then you have like everyone making a mad dash to their golf balls to get to the goal uh, in as many strokes as possible, but also as fast as possible so that mode is really fun. Uh, I, I had a I had a really good time with it. Battle golf. I haven't really had the chance to play yet, um, so I can't really say much about it. Uh, but I will, you know, obviously try it out in the future, and maybe you know maybe it'll be the best mode of all. But right now, I'm really not sure. So, full disclosure there. So then the story mode is actually what surprised me the most about this entire thing. I knew there was a story mode in there, but I figured it would just be very, uh, I don't know, very by the numbers, not really anything too crazy, but I ended up really, really liking that aspect of the game. Um, the RPG system, like, it, it has, like, a whole RPG system, and I think that part of it is awesome. It's probably, like, one of the best parts about the story mode like you can really tell if you put like these stat points in there you can really tell that like oh yeah I'm like I'm shooting way further now and uh, you know I can, I can run for longer that sort of thing and it's really cool to see like how your character improves as you do these uh, these missions it's a it's a big part of why I love this game but honestly it's not like the biggest part because the biggest part that I love about this game the fact that I that they included it is great. Explorable hub worlds. I love explorable hub worlds. Like, if you include a, if you include a, like, like an explorable hub world in your game, there's like a 90% chance that I'll love it more because it has that. And this game is no different. Um, from the world map, I can tell that there are a lot of probably help worlds that you will be able to explore um, but I've only been in one and it's just so nice to be in this area like it, it's nicely constructed it's not too big it's not too small there's still a lot to see there are people to talk to it's just fun it's great and they didn't have to do that they could have just made a menu and just make you click where you want to go or, you know, just have the 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 space modeled for cutscenes or whatever. But they made it fully explorable, you can do everything you want, uh, you can just roam around and you can do your thing. There are missions that you can that you can pick up, 
so you can get some more experience. It's great. I really like it. That said, uh, the golfing gameplay, like the gameplay itself, like when you're actually golfing, is like, it, it, it's like oddly deep for a Mario game. Um, like the, for like a Mario sports game, I should say. Usually the Mario sports games aren't like too deep, but like this game is like a completely different story. Like you, there, there are just so many moving parts to this, to this gameplay. Like there's so much to keep track of. Like you have these different clubs you can use. You have the wind that you need to keep track of. Like uh, if you're in the rough or in a bunker, you need to uh, like kind of figure out how you're going to get out of that. And uh, there's like this thing where if you shoot your ball and it lands, like it, it'll, it'll have a rolling distance that you need to keep in mind and then there's like uphill and downhill and it'll roll further or it'll roll less like there is so much and i think if you're like if you're really into this game like it can be so satisfying to figure out you know what you want to do with that and how you like how you're going to apply all those things in an actual match and yeah i, th I think with that alone there's like so much uh to keep track of that that can easily like learning the entire system and like the the gameplay uh can keep you busy probably for hours and upon hours upon hours on an end um so yeah i i was really really impressed with with that part of the game but moving on from that the character roster is you know for the most part pretty standard but there are like a few picks in there like king bob and charge and chuck where i'm like Yes, more of that. Like, I'm so glad there aren't just like any Koopalings or, you know, other other dumb, dumb shit that we've seen in like all these games forever. You know, King bob What? When, ha when is the last time that he's been in a game, in a Mario game, and been playable? Like, when has that happened? Same with Charge and Chuck, by the way. Uh... Like, I, I think that's what the Mario sports game should exceed at. Like, having all these crazy playable characters that you never would see otherwise. And I love that. I hope in the free updates, because they're doing free updates apparently, um, I hope that in the free updates they have more characters like that, that are just completely crazy, out of the, out of the blue. Um, yeah, I, I really hope they do that. that. That was a very cool surprise, because I didn't know anything really about the character roster. Uh, I might have seen Bob, King bob -omb or Chardon Chuck in like a trailer at some point, but I didn't really know about it generally. So, I was very happy about it. I was very happy to see it, and I hope they'll do more of it. The game also looks amazing. Like, as you've come to expect from basically any Mario game at this point. It's, uh, it's great. It looks great. It looks awesome. Uh, the lighting especially is top-notch. I think they'll probably be... they. they probably must have used like the same engine that like all these past Mario games have been using because the the lighting has been top-notch in like all of these games so I uh, I think that's probably why it looks this good but it looked good the soundtrack is kind of whatever for me so far there's nothing really that has stuck out to me so far but it's fine it's okay you know it's nothing too crazy um, it, it isn't like offensive or anything like it's just it's just there. It's just the Mario Sports soundtrack. It doesn't really do anything for me other than that. Uh, but it's fine. It's whatever. That does bring me into some more negatives. Uh, a few. Because while the story mode is cool, uh, I do think that this game is probably like a lot more fun in multiplayer, which isn't necessarily a negative. Um, but so far, like it does feel like kind of empty. You know, when you're like playing the game. And, you know, there, you have these computer players there, but it just doesn't feel quite right. You know, like, it's fun still, and you're still enjoying yourself. It's totally, like, totally possible to have fun with, you, you know, just by yourself with the, with the story mode and everything. But I do think that this game probably excels at multiplayer gameplay, which I haven't had a chance to test as of yet. But, you know, maybe that, uh, you know, maybe that, uh, maybe it'll be the same in multiplayer. Maybe it'll feel like a little off. I don't know. It's, uh, it's, uh, it, it, rem it remains to be seen. So, finally, uh, you know, I mentioned Speed Golf a little bit ago, and 
that's like the mode that you need to play. Um, and I still stand by that, but I do wish, I do wish there was a bit more going on in that mode. Like, there aren't a lot of ways to really screw over your, your, uh, your, your opponents, really. Like, you have these, the, your, yeah, you, you have this boost that you can use, uh, like to run through them and throw them off balance for a little bit, which is cool. And you have, like, these special shots that you can do that if, like, they stand in the vicinity of that, then... You know they get knocked over as well I think I'm pretty sure um, but other than that there isn't really a lot going on there aren't like any items that you can throw at your opponents or whatever kind of like Mario Kart um, I wish there was something like that in in the in the speed golf mode because right now there just isn't a lot like like right now it just feels a lot of the time it feels to me like just golf but with extra steps you know, like, you're just playing normal golf, but you have to run there instead of, you know, doing, uh, you know, you, you know, actually working around your opponents and what they're doing and trying to screw them over. I think that should be, like, the core appeal of that mode. And it isn't really there for me so far. But then again, I've, I'm only a few hours in, so maybe that'll change by the end. Uh, but right now, I'm just not, like, I, I think they could do a lot more with that mode. Maybe in the later levels there will be item boxes. I wouldn't know. So, we'll see. We'll see what happens there. But with that said, that is everything that I wrote down for now. So, with that, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this first impressions video, be sure to let me know with a like and a comment in the comment section down below. Have you picked up Mario Golf Super Rush? And if you have, what did you think of it? Also, be sure to let me know. And, uh, yeah, with that said, I want to thank you guys again for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Oh, bye-bye. Bye, 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 bye. Bye.